What's going on everyone? I'm finally back and I am here with another video um, and today it's just going to be kind of a mix of things. Um, with baseball starting up I want to show you some of my my preseason pickups and then also got a small little blaster box here of some Bowman Chrome to celebrate March Madness starting. Um, so yeah, as for these singles, um, I haven't really been opening up a lot of, um, retail or wax recently just to, um, save up some money after I spent a lot of it on the prism. Um, nothing, nothing too crazy out right now in terms of the, the products that are being put out there. So, um, and I also wanted to sell off some of my collection. Um, I think I, I, I just wanted to do a challenge where I'd see how much money I could make from just cards that aren't really PC players, um, just some some prospect cards, um, nothing crazy. I probably made about 50 sales in the past month, um, totaling only like a few hundred dollars. They were all, um, for the most part, less than $10. So it's been a grind, but I wanna show you some of this consolidation I've done um, and some, some of the new pickups I've gotten. So first, not really a, a great consolidation card, but I think I saw this for only a few bucks and thought it'd be, um, I thought it was worth a pickup. Brett Beatty didn't have a great year last year, still on the Mets, big market at a 199. Got the nice orange team color right there. So just thought that was a cool card. Next up, we got a Derek White. It's been fantastic this season for my Celtics. Um, I really like these gold standard cards. Um, this year, this is the 2017-18 year. So this is the, the Tatum, the De'Aaron Fox class. So unfortunately, I probably won't be able to afford those. But I was thinking about maybe maybe building a set of these. But um, maybe when I coop up some more money from... I got my, my eBay store going and got a lot sitting there that will hopefully sell. And start getting some PC pickups. All right, and then next up, I've been looking at baseball and specifically um, some players before I would say modern um, cards. This would be like 2010 to 2018, um, and just looking at their rookie card, nothing crazy, but these are the players that have a, a shot at the Hall of Fame in the future and are, I'd say, undervalued in the hobby. So this is the first one. First guy, Carlos Correa, obviously has a bad press about his cheating with the Astros. Um, had a down year last year, but I think he's still on pace to be a, a Hall of Fame, put up some Hall of Fame numbers. Um, so this is his rookie. Um, this is from Top Scrum Update, I believe. So this is like a short print speckle um, type card and then I got his auto um, this was actually for around like 75 bucks maybe and it's his rookie and it's a short print number to 499 so um, pretty good deal on this one um, I think having a rookie auto of a potential future Hall of Famer could be pretty cool and now we get into some slabs here and this is again like 2010 to 2018, just guys, I think I, nothing crazy, but just to have, have rookie cards of them. So this is a Rafi Devers PSA 9, and that's the rainbow foil. Um, and I'm really, you'll see, going after the PSA 9s just because they're pretty much worth the same or even a little bit less than raw cards, which is pretty crazy. Next up, Manny Machado, same, same deal, likely be a Hall of Fame player. Um, and just getting a graded rookie card is, um, nice to have in the collection. Next up, Juan Soto, his Chrome 9, um, I think that was a great addition to my collection. Um, really excited to see, see Juan Soto on the Yankees, even though I am a Red Sox fan, but I am a Juan Soto fan. Finally, Francisco Lindor, another PSA 9, um, and... This is from 2015, so again, these are cards that were printed not nearly like the base were not 
nearly as printed as much as it started in like 2020, 2019. So I'd say getting a good grade of these these rookie cards is something cool to have in the collection. And I think is if you're thinking about as an investment, I'm thinking about if they do go up, that's cool. If I ever need to sell it someday, but I really doubt they would ever go down in price. So, and I like just building my collection, get some um, new cards in there and consolidate a little bit and get some um, kind of um, trying to sell off a lot of my prospects. Prospect prospecting is a tough game, so um, I'd rather reinvest that into some um, some solid players, but that's just me. Now let's get into this Bowman Chrome U Blaster box just for fun. I haven't opened up anything since I got some um, that Monopoly box, I believe. So it's been maybe a month. So for March Madness, figured be cool chasing Caitlin Clark. Um, got some good Kentucky players in here. But yeah. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I, I don't know if this might be the Bronny James one too. I'm not crazy about Bronny James. Obviously, you'll get some ROI if you do hit him. But and I did some number crunching on the odds, and it's like every other box here you get a parallel. Every ten boxes or so you get an autograph. So pretty good odds. Um, and just getting kind of tired of Panini, so um, first time opening up uh, Bowman U product. So let's see what this is all about. So you get four cards per pack, a bunch of pinks. Love your retail pinks. All right. So we got a pink in here. Hey, there's a BC player. Milan. Monklevich, I'm sure I'll see these guys during Mar March Madness. Jared McCain. And our pink is Rajon Ellis, USC, not numbered. We got our first pink right there. All right. So let's see if we can get a numbered card. Right. Got my color. I think he might be out for the tournament, but he's a good player. So first, Dylan Jones and Tyrese Proctor. Been trying to keep up with college basketball. I like, really like the conference tournaments um, because it's similar to March Madness where like half the teams are playing for a spot. It looks like we might have an insert here. Djokovic, nice DJ Wagner. Not numbered, so that's just a looks just like the box topper there. And there's another DJ Wagner base in a Filipowski pink. But like I was saying, um, I really enjoy watching the conference tournaments since pretty much like more than half the teams are playing their seasons on the line, trying to get in the tournament. We might have something here. Angel Reese, is that a green? That's a green and it's a good one to get. Angel Reese to 99, very nice. She is definitely one of the top players in college and at least in the media, definitely talked about a lot. So that's a good hit. Might need a thicker card than that, but I'm gonna put it up on my stage. So nice. We'll for sure take that. See how the Tigers do in the tournament. And then a Zach Eby. All right, so again, first time opening up Roman Chrome U. And just like the fact that you can, it's not crazy to pull a numbered card like it is with Panini. It's just refreshing. All right, thought we might have had something there. Let's see, Lowry, 
Kwame Evans insert, Devin Williams, and Reed Shepard. That's a nice pink. It is very bent, these chrome cards. That's a good one right there. Reed Shepard, I have Kentucky going far in my, my bracket. I think they got a talented, talented team. That'll fit. That'll fit nicer in a top loader. It's just so bent. I try to use the top loaders to get it back into shape. Put you up there. So, doing pretty well with the parallels, surprisingly well. Alright. See what we can get here. Riley Kugel, Dusty Stromer, Eric Dixon, and Kenzie Mbako. All right, last pack. Let's see, can we get an auto? Can we get a Caitlin Clark? We have a pink in the back there. Diamond Johnson. Quentin Post, I really like this guy, and that's a refractor. For BC. He was a good player this year. Take that. Hey, there's a Caitlin Clark. Nice to have that. And then a Steel Venters pink to finish it off. Caitlin Clark, the all time scoring record. Cool to have a card of hers. Um, I wonder how the next year's WNBA Prism. In products will do with her as a rookie in those. I'm sure they'll do well. So, Quentin Post, not numbered, but nice refractor there for my BC Eagles. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's a pretty fun product. Get that refractor in there. Have a good shot at, at numbered cards. And this Angel Reese, very nice hit. 77 of 99. Cool. All right, well, I will probably not be opening up anything again anytime soon. Um, but I have, did bring my childhood collection here to my apartment, and I've been working on sorting that. Um, a lot of just mid-2000s cards and 90s cards. So it's kind of been filling my itch, just sorting through cards and kind of seeing what I have in my collection, trying to get a lot of things listed just to recoup some money and keep buying singles like these. Um, I'm really enjoying just kind of getting my collection in a little bit better shape. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll catch you again sometime soon. Peace.